In this video, you get a two for one, an installation of XFCE and a basic open box install. Right, we're on the usual test machine and I'm just gonna run through a nice fresh install of FreeBSD. I'm not going to go into too much detail because you've seen me install it before and nothing really changes. And this video really is just a combination of installing two desktops or window managers, XFCE and OpenBox. OpenBox is a bit, uh, is a bit of a quick run through, but you can apply what I say about XFCE to that. Right, I've just logged in as Robonuggy and I've just elevated root. So the first thing we're going to do is run PKG update and that will bring in a nice new package base or package database. And there we are. 31,624 packages are processed. Next we install Xorg because without that we're not going to see much. And I'll just go through that very quickly. It does take a little bit of time, that's why I'm speeding things up. The next thing we do is PKG install XFCE and also XFCE for goodies. Now it brings in a few extra things that's not part of the base install of XFCE. And we're all finished with that. So scroll down to the bottom. And then we're going to install Slim, the login manager. So we get a nice, pretty, GUI login. I'll just install that. And next, Dbus. Well, the reason why we're putting Dbus is that some applications or some part of the window managers uh, require you to have it. And it's, it's uh, compatibility. Next, we're going to edit rc.conf. And it's here that we're going to start, or put two entries, to start Dbus and to start Slim. So the first is Dbus underscore enable equals yes. That will enable us to start both of these daemons when we restart the system, but we can also start them on the fly as long as we've got two entries in there. And the second one is Slim underscore enable equal yes. And that will start the, the nice login manager after we reboot the system. So once that's done, we need to next create or edit. If you've got one, then fine. If you haven't, then you have to create it, but edit.exit.rc. And in that, we put xfce4 hyphen session. And that will tell us that when we start x, which we're going to do in a minute, it will start up xfce. And we're just going to put start x. And if things goes well, it should start up. And there it is, fantastic. Right, yes, and it's uh, it's not a bad install. You get a lot of uh, extra things that you won't get on the basic install, and that's thanks to them XFCE4 goodies. It's very nice indeed. Although you don't get a lot of uh, new wallpapers, so uh, you're gonna have to find them yourself. And yeah, 4.16, so not too bad. Right, I'm just going to log out of that. And we're just going to start up a couple of demos. We're going to start up Dbus, and then we're also going to start up Slim, just to show you that it works. So the first one is Service Dbus Start. And because we've got the entry in the rc.conf, it will allow us to do this. And Service Slim Start. And immediately it will go into, there we go, it goes into Slim. If you type his username and password, because we put the XNRC entry, it should, hopefully, fingers crossed, take us, ah, oh, there we go, take us into XFCE. Very nice indeed. Right, so what we're going to do now is, I'm just going to switch off the option, if I can type it out, there you go, switch off the option to start slim automatically. Because we really want to use StarTex. So 
So service slip and stop. And there we go. Go into root again. I know we should use do as, but this is a quick demonstration. So we need to enter pkg install open box obconf and kickshaw. Obconf lets you configure open box various themes and fonts, etc. And kickshaw is a menu editor. So here we go, ready to do that. Not that many files, because remember we've already installed Xorg. And there we are. So we'll just exit root into normal user. And again, we're going to edit the dot x in the RC. And we're going to change or add. Yeah, we'll just comment that out. We're going to add exec uh, open box. And it's really as simple as that. Now we just save it. And we start x and it should start to open box. It's difficult to tell if we have. Of course, Openbox is very minimalistic and we haven't included a tint to bar or anything, but if you right click on the desktop, you can see it comes up with the predefined menus. Some are pretty much uh, a little bit out of date, but they can be edited. Yeah, so it's Openbox. Not much to say, really, if you're a fan of this uh, very minimalistic uh, stacking window manager. I prefer Fluxbox, but Openbox has got its fans. So, yeah. Anyway, if we go into the uh, next term. And if we do type in Kickshaw, I'll show you what this is. Kickshaw hyphen GTK2. There is a GTK3 one if you prefer that. And this is it. It will allow you to add menus and change things and... Uh, but I think that will actually deserve a, a video in its own right. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Anyway, that was just a quick video just to show you how easy it is to install XFCE and really just a few extra steps to install Openbox. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.